Hurricane Tuesday. parties? This is supposed to be a they big do, year for hurricanes, it, by the way. Well, it started off like gangbusters, the earliest east one we've ever had, and then it kind of like calmed down. Now we're picking up a little bit more activity. But there's a lot going on as far as tracking hurricanes and predicting where they're going to go, and it's all about technology. Because drones, drones are involved with every part of life. Now, the police force uses them, uh, movie crews use drones, and we use them now to forecast the weather. We can fly them into hurricanes, tell us a little bit more about how strong that hurricane's going to get and where it's going to go. Check this out. They look like bright orange sailboats, but nobody will be taking one of these for a joyride. Richard Jenkins is the founder and CEO of SailDrone, a California company that created these winged robots, and we were there as they towed two of them out into the ocean. I mean, this could be transformational in how we understand how storms develop, you know, increase the chances of warning people on shore of what dangers they might face. If it works, these solar and wind powered drones will provide the first ever data and video from inside a hurricane. It's relayed in real time back to mission control at this former naval air station in California. It houses an orange army, a fleet of more than 100 drones. We have nothing else that has done this, so it would be extremely new and extremely valuable. Sail drones are expected to provide far more data right from the storm's so called engine, where the sea and the air meet. And this could provide important information into how strong a storm is and, more importantly, where it's heading. Last year, Hurricane Laura rapidly grew into a monster storm with 150 mile per hour winds. It's the most powerful hurricane to ever hit Louisiana. And in 2017, Hurricane Harvey went from a Category 1 to a Category 4 in just 24 hours before it hit Texas and caused catastrophic flooding. Hurricanes are the costliest natural disasters in the U.S., totaling $54 billion in wind and flood damage each year. Warmer ocean temperatures due to climate change are making hurricanes stronger. And a warmer atmosphere, well, that means they hold more water. This gives us a whole new level of intelligence as to what's coming for us and hopefully exactly where they're going to land. Sail Drone is deploying five hurricane hunters, three from the Caribbean and two from Florida. Each one is 1,500 pounds and designed to withstand hurricane force winds and 10-foot waves. Once the next hurricane forms in the Atlantic, well, the sail drones will converge on it, traveling up to 50 miles per day and ideally sailing right into the storm from every angle. The company has already tested its sail drones in rough waters near Antarctica, and a larger version, well, that's been deployed from San Francisco to map the ocean floor on a trip to the Hawaiian Islands. But a hurricane, boy, that is still a voyage into the unknown. Yeah, you bet it is. And right now, most of the information that we get about hurricanes comes from Hurricane Hunter airplanes, which they just don't provide as much information because we release the drop sounds and then they just sort of get blown by the winds. We can't position them exactly where we want them to go. In a drone, you can do that. Sure, definitely. And you've been in those hurricanes. I have planes, been in the hurricane which hunters. Is nuts. It's, uh, it, it is nuts. It's, uh, it's an exciting process. I mean, you're flying right through the eye wall, so the worst it has to offer, you make 16 passes at different levels of the hurricane and you get your information. As soon as that drop sound is released, it feeds the information back to the airplane. It's wow. nice to have these machines, though. To be able to do oh, you much rather have unmanned going into them than uh, any day. It's definitely unnerving. Wow. Thank you, Lonnie. Okay. Interesting stuff.